Hello, Wolf No Sound and Fury book reviews. As usual, I am Tina. Today I'm reviewing the book The Hero, The Fear, and The Date by Rod Gilley. This is a 2023 short story collection that is self-published. I actually received this book from the author in exchange for a fair review. For the May the Force Read With You readathon, this book gets me a neutral ability prompt, which is Force Barrier, read a book in a different format than usual. So the unusual thing about this one is that I read it kind of on a Google Doc because I was too lazy to send the EPUB to myself, especially when I saw that it was only like 40 pages. So I was like, I'll just read it here. So there we go. That gets me the uh, Force Barrier prompt. That leads me to be a Dark Lord of the Sith. So now I am the... Uh that I've accomplished my goal, I guess. <laughs> Still got a week to go here or two weeks. How many? I don't even know what day it is. Um, yeah. So we'll see what other prompts I can complete next week. <laughs> so this is going to be a micro review because this is a micro book. It's three bitty little stories, about 40 pages total. They are unusual and kind of weird. They're like small Black Mirror episodes or like the Twilight Zone. The first one follows a cop who stumbles into a bad situation. The second is a man who is afraid of the dark but is going blind. And a third is a man on an odd date. They are all easy to read and flow well with very interesting situations. It, they're perfect for reading when you're in a waiting room or on a commute or like I was sitting in your kid's room while they refused to go to sleep without you there. So, <laughs> so thank you. You gave me something to do rather than just scroll Instagram. Like... The stories were all fun and compelling. I liked them a lot. My only issue, and they're not really an issue with the story, was that the blindness one could have been a lot longer. Like, I felt because everything happened so quickly, what could have been more hard-hitting horror aspects and maybe, like, a grief aspect weren't as impactful. I think it could have been actually more of, like, a novella. So, uh, just, just an idea there. <laughs> Still, it was an interesting story with a great twist. I really enjoyed it. Because I am pedantic and annoying, I just want to talk about how most people who are or go blind don't actually see blackness. They can see light, they just can't make out the shapes or colors. Yet, because there are people with blindness around 10% who have no light perception at all, I'm going to assume that that was the case in this story. I only bring this up because movies in particular are very awful about depicting what blindness actually is, so I figured I would mention it. As I said, I am pedantic, and I'm not going to apologize for that. <laughs> Overall, though, this is a short, entertaining, enjoyable read that you can definitely do in one sitting. Definitely recommend it if you want something weird, very short, and surprising to read while you're waiting for someone, you know, at a restaurant or you're in line at some terrible government building or you're stuck in the doctor's office and they're taking 900 years. This is the perfect book for that because it will totally entrance you, but you'll also be able to probably finish it in that sitting. So, so yeah, totally check it out. And sorry if this review is rambling. I'm very tired today. My, uh, my one daughter has been up all week through the night with a cough. It's, I don't have any sleep. So <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah.